Hello guys and welcome to Got Questions. And over 250 million years ago, the Earth looked very different. Instead of there being seven main continents that separate different bits of land around our planet, there was instead one giant supercontinent, and it was called Pangaea. You might have heard of it. This was way before humans were around, and the Earth consisted of just one giant landmass surrounded by one giant sea. Then, during the Jurassic period, Pangaea began to start rifting, or in other words, breaking apart. But it took hundreds of millions of years before we get the seven continents that our planet knows about today. The world we live in today only started looking like this around only 35 million years ago. However, the continents are still slowly rifting and slowly moving. So slowly that we won't notice a difference in our lifetime or even thousands of generations in the future. But the landmass on Earth is still moving ever so slowly. So today on Got Questions, we're going to be answering this mind-boggling question of could Pangaea ever return? Will these continents ever rejoin like how they used to? And will it look any different? And of course, when on Earth will it happen? So let's get on answering this question. But before we go any further, please make sure that you've clicked that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified every time we answer a brand new question. Well, firstly, what would this new supercontinent be called? Pangaea 2, maybe? The official name is Pangaea Proxima, and unfortunately, studies show it would be quicker to go back in time 250 million years ago to the original Pangaea than to go to Pangaea Proxima. That's because this new supercontinent could be fully formed in about 250 to 300 million years, so pretty close, I guess. I'm just kidding, that is a very, very long time. By then, humans may be completely extinct, we may have ventured into space, or found alien life, or there may be a completely new species roaming on the Earth. There's a dark thought for you. Basically, we're at the moment where the seven separate continents will remain separate. But it's not going to be long before they begin joining back up, like we said, it's going to form Pangaea Proxima, the next supercontinent in around 300 million years. So what on earth is going to happen in those 300 million years? Well, firstly, Africa will join with Europe and Asia, and this will happen around 25 million years into the future. And this will form the next continent, Afro-Eurasia. Then, 60 million years into the future, Oceania will join this new continent, creating Afro-Eurostralasia. It's quite a handful to say that. Then, the top of North America will join the east of this new supercontinent in around 100 million years, creating the continent known as Amasia, basically America and Asia. However, this won't last for long. This joining then re-separates with part of Asia now joined to North America, leaving the supercontinent that we had before, but just with a bit of Asia gone. And this will happen in 120 million years, leaving basically America and a bit of Asia and South America on one side, and then another supercontinent, as we've just talked about before, afro eurostralasia then Antarctica will come up from the south and join the supercontinent in between where Africa and Australia are and this will happen around 170 million years in the future and this will be called Terra Orientalis. And then finally, since most of the continents are now joining up, we get the first signs of this new supercontinent called Pangaea Proxima and these first signs come as South America begins to join the edge of Antarctica and North America joins to Africa and this will happen in around 220 million years. And then finally, in 300 million years into the future, Pangaea Proxima will have been fully formed. However, there will still be a large sea in the middle between the continents, and then a huge ocean around the outside. So guys, that is the answer to this question. Of course, it's mad to think that very soon these seven continents that we know of will soon form back into one giant Pangaea Proxima. Do you think Pangaea Proxima will look anything like this, or do you think it might look very different? Do you think different continents will join up with other continents? And also, do you think we'll still be living here? Do you think humans will still be around when Pangaea Proxima will happen? 
But unfortunately, that's another question for a completely other video. Make sure you let us know down in the comments whether you enjoyed this video and all your thoughts on Pangea Proxima. And make sure that you smash that like button down below. And make sure that you are, of course, subscribed to this channel. But as always, we've been here on Got Questions, and make sure you return every time you've got questions.